Thursday to you. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert. I help you to build unshakable confidence. Stop procrastinating and you got it. Get your dreams out of your head into your life. I don't know, uh, I'm saying only me. That's why I'm not seeing anybody. I just switched on. Let me look at something else because I know you all has been quiet, but I don't know why my stuff is turning over to private. But anyway, we're going to get this party started. <laughs> yeah, so come on in. Come on in the room. I don't know why my posts are showing... Um, private but anyway um i'm gonna give you a few minutes to come on and um we're gonna go from there go ahead and invite someone you come on and we're gonna do what we do right good evening good evening come on in come on in yay come on in <laughs> Super excited to be here on today. Um trying to see what I got going on here. Um yes, let's get this party started. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. So this is Transparent Thursday with your girl Coach O. We're gonna just keep it real, keep it moving. You see what the title of this live feed is. The question is, why keep doing what's not working? It seemed like a really simple question, and you would think that, you know, sometimes we would just kind of look into and just say, you know, hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm answering, um, come on in, we, we gonna get started, come on in, um, come on in, um, we're gonna get this thing started, um, here shortly, and, and then we'll go from there, so, Super excited to be here on tonight. Did not want to go to bed before I came on here to, to talk with you just for a minute. Um, got some work that I need to do before I go to bed. So I figured I'll come in um, just for a few seconds and spend a little time with you. But I want to get you moving. And you see I have on my shirt today that life begins outside of your comfort zone. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. We got to get out of what's making us comfortable, what we think that makes us feel good, and move. We have to move. We have to move. So my question for you is, why keep doing what's not working? You know, there's a quote by somebody somewhere out there that says something to the fact that, you know, if you think you can and if you think you can't, you're right 100% of the time. And the thing that we don't do, we know 100% it won't work. The thing that we try that we don't know what the outcome will be, we at least have a 50-50% chance that it may work and it may not work. But we continue to do things that we've already gotten the result that is not working. It is not working. We are working on a model that is already shot. Hmm? I asked him, I, I, I had to send an email today on my J-O-B. I said, this system right here is broken. Why do we continue to operate in a broken system? Why is it that we continue to operate with a broken model? Why is it that we continue to do things that we already see is not working? 
Now, we look at it and think that, you know, everything may not be working about it. You don't have to change everything. You change what's not working. You know, you don't have to. It's like being married or in a relationship. The relationship may be really good, but they don't know how to communicate or they don't communicate for whatever reason, why, or whatever. They don't talk or this and that. You know, sometimes we get in relationships and we figure, well, we uh, we are being in a relationship and we figure, well, I don't like talking and I don't like sex and I don't like this and I don't like that. So the question would be, why are you in a relationship? No, like really. <laughs> Why are you in a relationship? I mean, you, you, you don't like talking. You don't like to be bothered. You like being by yourself. You don't like having sex. And you don't like all these things that relationships require in order to live. But you want to be with somebody. Why put somebody else in that drama? So I guess the question would be, why be in a relationship when you don't like none of the stuff that that's necessary to keep one alive and to keep one thriving and to keep one living. But anyway, that's not my topic tonight. It may not be my topic tonight. But my question is, why keep doing what is not working? That goes in your financial life. That goes in your romantic life. That goes in your physical life. That goes in the whole life. I mean, we're talking holistic. We continue to do what is not working versus us deciding, making a decision that we're going to, we're going to pivot. We're going to try something different. We're going to, we're going to at least try something different. We're going to at least approach this thing a little bit differently. Don't show up and keep on doing the same thing. We know that the definition of insanity or one of the definition of insanity is, is continuing to do the same thing, expecting a different result. Continue. And I know sometimes we figure, okay, I'm going to see something different. Yeah. In some cases you will see something different. If you change your perspective, you can look at the same stuff. Sometimes you can read things and different things that you read at first didn't pop out. Okay. You got new revelation or knowledge, but in these areas where you losing and you keep losing and you keep losing, you can't win with loss, loss, loss. So we have to at one point say, okay, I'm going to have to pivot. I'm going to have to turn around. I'm going to have to change some things, adjust some things, stop some things, add some things, do something. We got to do something. We have to do something. So why is it that we keep doing the same thing? What is, what is, what is the drawback? That's the word I'm looking for. What is the drawback with you trying to at least see if something else will work? And I mean, you don't have to leave your relationship, your job, your business. You can stay right there where you are to see what you need to change. Because see, a lot of times we'll want to put in effort in another area. If we would have just put in that same effort and that same energy, that same efficiency in where we was, we can make that work. But we think that our hand would win and we're not playing. Y'all are quiet. Why are y'all so quiet tonight? And I know this is not one of those um, naming and claiming messages. So therefore, a lot of times when you have those type, when you when you're not telling, when you're not talking about prosperity and and that money coming and it's gonna come in stacks and loads and 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 everything gonna be all right. You know, some things are not gonna be all right till we change some stuff. Some things are not going to happen until we make it happen. Some things are not going to come to us. We got to go to it. We have to find ourselves in positions, in environments where we can thrive and where we are not. You know, some environments can drain you. Some people can drain you. Some situations can drain you. Some things that you're involved in, it can drain you. It won't grow you. It can take away from you. But we will stay in those situations thinking it's going to get better later, you know, in due time. No, some things in due time, time, there's a time for everything, but time don't change everything. Over time, if you, if you sitting somewhere 
and doing nothing when you're supposed to be doing something, three hours can pass by. And guess what? What you were supposed to be doing, it still didn't get done. Because us sitting down looking cute and hoping and, and wishing and, 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 and rocking, that ain't going to get it done. We're going to have to get with it. We're going to have to get our hands dirty. We're going to have to muscle up, roll our sleeves up. We may have to grit, grind, whatever it is that we have to do. Because time alone is not going to make the goal be achieved. It is not going to make the goal be achieved. So my question for you is, what are you waiting on to do something different? And why are you so afraid of change? And I want to just share just a little bit of what I think. You know, sometimes we are afraid of change because we're worried about what somebody going to say. You know, instead of you trying to still afford a vehicle and a payment that you know you don't have the money for, you worried about what people are going to think if you downgrade it. If, if you had to downgrade from a bigger house to a smaller house, your needs may not even be the same. Your reason for having it in the first place may be different from when you got it. Who cares about what somebody says? We spend so much of our time worrying about how somebody else feel about how we live our life. When you think about that, do that make a whole lot of sense? Because you know what? It's a cycle. And it's universal. What does that mean? Cycle and universal. It is universal. The same problem you have, somebody else have it. The same question you have, somebody else have it. The same worries you have, somebody else have it. The doubts and the fears. There's not just somebody have it. It's a lot of somebody's have it. We worry about the same thing. We have the same doubts and some of the same fears. Not to say that every person have them. That's not what I'm saying. But we worry about what somebody think and how they feel and what they going to say. And those same people, you can't call them when you need them. They scanning your calls. They're not answering your calls. They're not on your rescue team. They're not, they're, they're not in your corner. So why is it that we would allow what they think stop us from being good, from being great, from being better? from going after what we desire. And if it don't work, okay, it don't work. You try. That's the way you got to look at it. But you know what? We, we, we put this face on, you know, like when we are going through and, you know, in, 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 in church, we would say, you know, I don't look like what I've been through, but you have a lot of people, they wear their worry on their face. But you know, we, we say that, you know, I'm a prayer warrior. The word that I read is say, if you're gonna work, if you're gonna pray, don't worry. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. If you're gonna worry, don't pray. We you, you don't need to do both. You need to do one or the other. It's either you in or you out. It's either you believe it or you don't believe it. You're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. We have to realize and recognize that the law of polarity, whether we understand it, whether we like it, whether you know we think it all these different sorts of types of things, it is what it is. There is an equal opposite, and both of them is already there from the beginning. You don't have a head without a tail. Look at a coin. Look at it. You don't have a front without a back. You don't have light without darkness. Because see, on the opposite side of light is going to be darkness. You hit the light, it's dark. Right? If you on head, you got a tail. If you if you in the front, you got a back. If you up, you got a down. You have sunshine and you have cloudy days. You have good days and you have bad days. You have, you know, opportunities and you have some that that's not. You have good opportunities and you have bad opportunities. But what we have to do is if we are, if we so deep in one side, on one side, it's just as much on the other side. So don't stay stuck in that place and figure I just got to keep on doing this. And, you know, bad don't get better. <laughs> How could you have a better bad? Bad don't get better. We have to say, I'm going to go from bad to good, but bad don't get better. You can't have a great bad. I, I don't want no, I don't, I don't personally want a great bad. I'm striving for good. You know, I don't want, you know, we got to get to a point 
And if you all are saying anything, I don't I don't see any comments. So you all are quiet. But I'm just going to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak anyway. Um, and then it, we don't go on. But, you know, we, we have this perception that over time it's going to get better if we don't do nothing. But what over time and not doing nothing gets us is more time of what we don't want. You know, have you ever not had a conversation that you needed to have and just because you avoid having it, you thought that it was all over? It wasn't over. It was not over because you was afraid to talk about it. It wasn't over because you was afraid to address it. It wasn't over because you didn't know exactly what to do. It was not over. It's still not over. That thing that needed to be addressed, it still need to be addressed. And when we are afraid to say what we feel and feel, you know, and when we are afraid to say what we feel, and we are afraid to feel, we stay stuck in a position, putting up with things that we don't even like, faking the liking. It's true. You got people faking the like things that they don't like because they don't have the courage to say, I don't like that. I don't like that. And what telling people that you don't like what it does, it'll stop it and it'll prevent it from being this long laundry list of things that you don't like that you have to continue to continue to put up with when you can just stop it before it really gets started. How do you get into a relationship 20, 30 years where whole time in a relationship, I don't like the way you talk to me. I don't like the way you touch me. I don't like the way you treat me. I don't like the way you, you know, do when you're in public. You need to address that because if you continue, it's like, I like chocolate cake and I haven't been eating any kind of cake, but when I, I like chocolate cake, I don't like banana cake and lemon cake and strawberry cake and all these other different kinds. Okay. I may try something, but that's not my favorite. If I was going to have what I really like, I like chocolate on top of chocolate, right? Okay. But if you are doing a good thing and you say, hey, I, I brought you a, a banana cake. I don't like banana cake. And if I do today, I don't know I do because I don't eat it. But this is my point. If I don't like it, why not say, you know, thank you so much. And you can even, you can do it nicely. You can eat it, but you can let them know this. You know, I went on and ate there because I didn't want to waste it. I don't waste no food, but I don't really like that kind of cake. Now, if you want to bake me a cake, make me a chocolate cake. You can do that just as nice and sweet. And you can do that with grace. You can do that in love. But why? Continue to have a person wasting their time doing something that you don't like. Wasting money and, excuse me, effort. But if you just be up front with people and say, you know, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't like that. Because do you know when you put up with something that you don't like, your heart is not right. It may not come out of your mouth and you may say whatever. You may look just as cute and innocent and just as quiet. But when this ain't right, that's what matters. This right here is what matters. So you feel like, well, I didn't say nothing. I'm just, I'm just dealing with it. No, you're not. So why do you keep doing the same thing? Why is it that you keep, you know, and, you know, having even conversations, a couple of conversations today, I'm thinking, you know, you go in business. A lot of people go in business because they don't like the rules of working for somebody else, right? They don't like the time predictions to say, okay, you have to be at work from eight to four, nine to five, seven to three, 11, 11, whatever your shift is, right? But when we get in business, we say we still don't have time. Did you not set your business hours? How is it that you, we don't have time to work in our business and we don't want to set the hours? We was we was all, we left a place because we was tired of the predictable, unpredictable. You gotta stay. You can't. You gotta do this. You gotta da 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 da. We started because we wanted to have more control, and we still don't have any control. Why do we keep doing the same thing? Do you know if we struggled financially um, in 2019 
and we didn't change anything at the beginning of this year, there's still going to be a struggle. And do you know that if you go into 2021 with the same mindset and taking the same actions as you did in 2020, you're going to be in the same position. <laughs> a new year, a new day, don't change anything when you have an old mind. When you have an old mind, <laughs> when you have an old mind, um, nothing is new is going to be, nothing is, nothing new about your year is going to be new. And I know for somebody, they may feel like, well, you know, I don't know what all to do. And I, I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't know how. Do you think the people that's doing what you like, that they knew exactly what to do and how to do it, how they learned how to do it, they just kept doing it. They learned from what they did that didn't work. We're waiting for perfection. We're waiting for the perfect time. We're waiting for the perfect opportunity. We're waiting for somebody to come and sweep us off our feet. Baby, you don't have to start with where you are with what you have, doing what you can. And as you get in there and get your hands dirty and get your feet wet, as you get in the water, you figure, okay, this right here is going to be drown or swim. I got to figure this thing out. So you're not, well, if you, if you can make a conscious calculated decision to say, I am going to be intentional on what I do. I'm gonna be intentional. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna hold my breath when I need to. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna strive when I need to. But you say I gotta be intentional. See, a lot of us we're waking up every day not being intentional. We cannot wean our way to success. We can't just say, you know what? I don't know what the day gonna bring. You gotta bring the day. You know how you can tell what kind of day you're going to have by you setting your day. See, we have to be prepared. We already know it's going to be some foolishness that's coming, that's going to come up on our day. So as we know that some foolishness is going to come up on our day and in our day, you have to say, you know what? This is what I got to deal with today. Because, see, most of us are not doing no things, you know, just um, by coincidence or just so happened nothing happened that you know that you got to go to the doctor you know that you gotta whatever it is that you're doing you know you got a crazy co-worker or you got somebody that work with you in your company your business you know you got somebody in your family that, that 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 you just don't seem to kick it off well with and you're around them every time you're around them y'all have a problem you gotta say look i am not even gonna respond for to that foolishness today i already know they're gonna have a problem but baby they look Looking for me to respond the way they think, but ain't happening. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but we have to make up in our mind. We have to make up in our minds that although we may not have different, but we can want different. See, we have limited ourselves on what we want. And that's why we keep doing the things that are not working because we didn't made up in our mind we can't do no better. That this is, this is it. This is is not it. And you can do better. We can do better. We can do differently. We can have different. We don't have to keep doing what we've been doing. We don't have to keep having what we've been having. We don't have to keep being who we have been being. We can be who we want to be. We can do what we want to do. And you got it. We can have what we want to have. But you know, the first thing that we have to do, we have to make a decision. We have to make a decision. 
We have to say, you know what? Enough is enough and too much is too much. And I haven't had enough of nothing. I am tired of living through the, I'm, I'm tired of riding on the struggle bus. I'm tired of robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm tired of not, you got, see, when you're not tired of a thing, you are put up with it. You remember uh, M-A-D-D, Mothers Against Drunk Driving? She had a cause that she stood up for. A lot of us, we don't have a sense of urgency to change everything. So the perception that we tell ourselves is that we still have time. Oh, I got time. I'll do that tomorrow. I got time. I'll do that next week. What if today was your last day? What if what you did today made all the difference in your tomorrow? And to be practical, what you do today is setting you up for your tomorrow. So we can't sit and do nothing today and think, oh, tomorrow is just going to happen. It's, it's popping. If you don't put no seeds in the ground, ain't nothing popping up. It's all about the seeds we plant. It's all about the relationships we establish. It's all about the work and the effort that we put in. And no, everything is not going to turn out perfect. I don't care if you are a salesman. I don't care if you are a realtor. I don't care. I don't care what it is that you offer. Everybody's not going to need what you have. But there are a lot of people that not only need what you have, there are a lot of people that want what you have. But they do not get it if they don't know you got it. If you the best kept secret and, oh, you don't want nobody to know, you're telling yourself you're moving in secret, how are you going to be, you know, effective and prosperous? And how is it that you're helping and impacting? How is it that you're showing up if you keep doing the same thing and you figure, oh, it's, it's, it's well and it's going to get greater later? I come here, newsflash, nothing's getting greater later if you don't do nothing different now. You hear me? It is not going to get greater later if you don't do something different now. We have to do something different now. If we want our next week, if we want our next year to be sweet, our best year ever, we got to be preparing for it. Because see, by the time we get prepared, the opportunity has passed us by. We got to think about it and talk about it. We got to pray about it. We got to lay on it. We got to do this, that, and the third Make a doggone decision. And a lot of stuff that we're taking forever on, it's not even worth the time you putting in on it. You putting way too much time in it. Way too much time. You can be and did it and out of it. But you, a year from now, still talking about you, you waiting to hear from somebody. <laughs> Do you know you already have a you already have a decision on what you're gonna do before somebody start talking to you? You not already told yourself, you know, a lot of times people go somewhere, they like, we're not buying nothing. I don't care what they saying, what they say, what is what it sound like. I don't care what the offer look like. We just coming to do this, 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 this. That offer may be an offer that's gonna change your life. But by you have already precondition yourself on what you're not going to do, you miss it. You miss it. You miss it. We're getting ready to get out of here. Y'all are quiet. And I mean, I'm telling you, um, it's, um, it's, it's just amazing to me. It's amazing to me that we will get up and we would expel energy doing a thing that has already proven itself not to work. It is not working. It's not working. So it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone so our life can begin, so we can start seeing a difference, we can start seeing a change, and let's do it. Let's 
Let's prepare ourselves for 2021 and have a year like never before. We've been through a lot already this year. We don't need to take no junk into the next year. We've already been through enough. But it's not, we don't have to be sad about what we're seeing and what we're going through. We can go and go in power because we're prepared. We're prepared. So think about what you're doing. Ask yourself why you keep doing the things that are not working. Be willing to take some healthy risk and see. Just see if you would try something different, how that would turn out for you. Look, I'm getting ready to get out of here so I can finish up my work for the day. Um, I hope that you have an amazing day. If you're new to me, this is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert. I help you to build unshakable confidence. Stop procrastinating and you got it. To get your dreams out of your head into your life. I hope you have an amazing night and take the lessons of what is said and leave the pain. Don't prejudge anything. Just change what needs to be changed. Work on what needs to be worked on. Fix what needs to be fixed and live a happy and grateful and thankful life. Let's do it. This is your girl, Coach Al.